Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Exotic Gaming and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a bit of a different video than what I generally post on my channel. And obviously, as you can tell from my channel name, most of the videos that I post on this YouTube channel are gaming related. Now, I'm not binded to doing specifically this, but as the years have progressed, as I've built my channel, I've had a focus towards doing videos on mobile games, whether they are on Android, or iOS, I've really focused on playing a lot of games that are only out for mobile devices. And ever since the very beginning, ever since December 29th, 2013, when I posted my very first video on this channel, I've gotten comments from people asking what I use to record my screen. Now, up until just a couple of days ago, I would recommend some very sketchy different apps out there that aren't available on the App Store. Now, most recently, in the most recent iOS updates, iOS 11, they did release a built-in screen recorder for iOS devices. But the problem is, it's pretty limited with what it can do. You start off, you record your game audio and your audio, and that is it. It doesn't really have a lot of other features. And just a couple of days ago, a brand new app called EveryCord just got released into the App Store. It is vastly superior to the built-in screen recorder that iOS devices have now. And the best thing is, right now, it is free. So if you would like to get a screen recorder that is in the App Store that is far superior to the built-in iOS 11 screen recorder, I suggest keep watching this video and you'll see just how awesome every cord is. So right now we're on the home screen of my device here. I'm gonna go into the App Store and all you need to do is if you are on an iOS device, obviously, and you are running iOS 11, search every cord. Just like that, click the first link and it should look something like this. As you will see in the version histories, as you all will see here, it has released lots of new things in just the past couple of days. There are some very critical bug fixes that did get released a couple of days ago that made it even better than what it already is. And right now, as you can see, it says it's free for the initial release. So if you're watching this a couple of days after this video is being posted, Get it now while you can, because eventually they're going to change it to being $1. But still, for $1, it's definitely worth it. Over time, as you make videos, $1 is definitely going to pay off in the long run. So after you download every cord, you can open it up. You don't have to worry about this app being like the other ones you download off the App Store from other sketchy Chinese websites where they might say you can't open it up, or maybe untrusted developer or something like that, because this is an app in the App Store. It's safe, it's in the App Store. It's been verified by Apple and you're good when you're using this. As you can see, if you go into your settings, you have a lot of different options for what you can do. You can change the degree of your orientation. So if you're playing a game in landscape mode, maybe you're playing it instead of vertical, you're playing it horizontal, you can change it to a 90 degree turn or a 270 degree turn depending on exactly how you want to do that. You can change it up to 60 FPS, which is very, very good. A lot of screen recorders do not have that option, but you can, so you can have even more fluid gameplay when you're recording things on your iOS device. Then of course, if you are recording and you want to upload to YouTube, you would want to use full size so you can have the maximum resolution for somebody watching your playback of a video. You can record the internal audio. As you can see, it says this setting applies to both recording and broadcasting. If internal audio is enabled, microphone audio will be automatically disabled. Disabled. So if you only want to record your game's audio and you don't want to have yourself in the background or any other background noise, you can do that by just simply toggling on that switch right there. And then your bitrate, I would recommend it as it is at 48,000 hertz. That's perfectly fine. Keep it at two channels and you're pretty much good with your settings. Now here's the best thing about every chord. If you are watching this and you don't have an option to live stream on your mobile device, you can. You switch over to the broadcast tab, you put in that input key for your YouTube channel, and you can live stream directly off your device using every chord, which is really, really cool. Maybe you're playing a game like Pokemon Go, and obviously you can't have a computer there to live stream your mobile device. Using this, you can literally just go on the walk walk down the city streets and live stream Pokemon Go with that. 
or maybe a more up-to-date game. I don't know, I don't really know what games you could do, but you don't have to use a computer to broadcast that. Now at this point, I'm going to switch over to a different camera view and show you guys exactly what you're going to do if you want to record your screen using EveryCord. Alright guys, so I am not a tech YouTuber in any sense of the word, so you gotta give me some leeway here. I'm not really set up to do anything like this, but I did want to make this video anyways. So I apologize if the quality is, well, less than stellar. I just want to be able to get my point across. Before you actually start recording using every chord, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings and scroll down to where every chord is listed in your apps section. You want to make sure that you have every chord enabled to access your photos because if you don't, you are not able to save your recordings to your camera roll and then it's completely pointless. You can't edit them, you can't post them to YouTube. At this point, another thing that you might need to do if you are scrolling down from the top and not seeing the screen recording button appear is you need to go to your control center, customize controls, and make sure screen recording is listed right here. It might not, you might have to scroll down and add a plus button right here to where screen recording is, and then you'll be able to swipe down from the top and have screen recording. At this point, if you have every chord open, you don't have to worry about doing this directly inside the app. All you need to do is swipe down from the top, and then if you are on an older device that doesn't have 3D touch, you just long press. Or if you have a newer device like I do, you 3D touch, and then you will have this little menu right here. If you have every chord installed, it'll say every chord. If you don't, it'll just say regular screen recording. And at this point, you can either choose to record your microphone audio or not. Click start broadcast. It'll count down from three, two, one and now it is recording your screen. You can go into your favorite game if you want to, go down. The audio quality is a little bit loud here, but I'm not recording my audio right now, so you don't really have to worry about that. You can play your favorite games. You can either choose to go into horizontal or landscape mode, like I said before. And then eventually, when you want to die, and you finish off your recording, you touch this little red button up at the top. If you are on an older device, the bar will be all the way across your screen. Then click stop recording. Open up every chord once again, go into your recordings, and you can watch your finished recording right here. If I can manage to press the play button. As you can see, here's our finished recording going right into our app. Ideally, what you would want to do is already be in your app when you start the recording, but as you can see, this is our finished recording. Very short, you can enable your audio, obviously, if you want to. For some devices, the audio does not work right now, so if you do have an error where sometimes there might just be a little play symbol with a little line through it, then your device might not be enabled for the internal audio right now, and they are working on a fix. But for most devices, it should work perfectly fine, and with that being said, that's it. At this point, you can go click this and save that to your camera roll. It's going to save now. We can go into our photos, go right over to our videos, which are right over here. And as you will see, we now have it directly in our camera roll. So pretty cool, I think. And I think every chord does a really good job with this. Definitely a lot more options than your standard screen recording because you can also live stream. And that is a huge, huge step forward for every chord. Anyways, with that being said, that is it for this portion of the video. All right, so with that being said, I guess we're finished for the most part with this video. I really hope this video helped. If you stayed till the end, you are absolutely awesome. So if this video did help, I would really appreciate it a lot if you left a like down below and shared this video with some of your friends. It takes a couple of seconds to do that. It really helps the channel out and it lets more people know how to record their iOS device screen. This is something that everybody wants to know how to do. They've wanted to know how to do this ever since the very first iOS device was released. And in the past, it was very sketchy trying to record your screen, but now it is a clear, straightforward process. I'm very happy that Apple is finally allowing people to record their screens a lot easier than they did in the past, so it's a very exciting time for recording videos on your mobile devices. So with that being said, guys, make sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. If you have watched this far and you enjoy this video, then you might want to consider checking out some of the other videos I have posted on my channel. I have several other playlists with many different mobile games on the channel. I have a random game commentaries playlist where I just play random games. I might do one or two episodes of a game, or I have entire series of other games that I do. 
many different games, and if I haven't done a game in particular, then you can let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see, and I can definitely make that happen in the near future. There are endless possibilities for mobile games I can post on this channel. So with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.